On this episode, I'm making incredibly simple handmade pasta. But before we get started, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified of future videos. Let's don't be intimidated by fresh pasta. It's incredibly simple to make. It's definitely worth the effort and it really doesn't have to be that time consuming. The shape I'm making today is strozzapreti pasta, which is nearly foolproof. But if we're being honest, it really doesn't matter what it looks like. It really just matters how it tastes and how well it can pick up that tomato-based pasta sauce, which I'll link to a really great recipe at the end of this video. All right, so to make the dough, let's get started. For strozzapreti pasta, the ingredients you'll need is one and three quarters cup all-purpose flour, one cup semolina flour, one half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon olive oil, and enough warm water to help form a kneadable dough. Okay, so in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna mix all of the ingredients. Got flour, and I'm gonna sift it just to get rid of the little larger pieces of flour. You don't have to do this, but you definitely don't want huge clumps. Mix with a whisk or fork. This helps to properly incorporate the mixture so that the ingredients are evenly dispersed. Okay, once that is done, you're gonna start adding in the water. Now, I like to add it in about a half a cup at a time and mix it with my hands. But it could take a cup or more. I mean, it really just depends. On a lightly floured work surface, we're gonna dump it all out. And then we're gonna start putting it together. Knead until it's smooth and stretchy. This should take about five minutes. You can see that the dough has really changed the way that it looks and feels. It's super smooth, a little bouncy. That's exactly what you want. Form it into a ball. And then with some cling film or plastic wrap, you're gonna take it and tightly wrap it because this is going to sit in the fridge. Okay, now the dough has been resting for about 30 minutes, and you'll see that it's gonna look a little bit different, much more soft and pliable. Divide it in half. Make sure one of those halves is still wrapped in plastic so that it doesn't dry out, and on the other half, begin rolling on that lightly floured work surface. I like to pre-flatten the dough so it's a little bit easier to roll out. And you want to go for a very long rectangle, about an eighth of an inch thick. Now, if it gets too sticky and starts sticking to the rolling pin, put a little bit of flour on it, but you do not want the dough to be too dry because that's how you're gonna more easily form the strozapreti shape. Using a knife or a pasta cutter, cut the dough into strips that are about an inch to an inch and a half wide. So once you have the strips made, you're gonna let them lightly stretch and then put them in your hand and you're gonna lightly, very gently, roll them together. Now when you roll them together, about four fingers, you're gonna break it off. And that is creating the strozapreti shape. Now these can sit out on the counter a little bit before you dust them with flour and then they can go in the fridge or the freezer. If you're freezing it, make sure to first place the pasta on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, ensuring that each piece is separated. Once they're frozen, transfer the pasta to a freezer safe bag. To cook the pasta, boil salted water in a large pot. Cook the pasta until it floats to the top of the salted water. This is usually about four to five minutes. However, if you're using frozen pasta, it'll take slightly longer. 
Remove the pasta with a strainer and make sure not to discard the pasta water because you're gonna use that for the sauce. After you've cooked the pasta, add it to your favorite sauce and then enjoy. This is definitely food you need in your life. On today's episode, I'm making incredibly simple handmade pasta. But before we, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> this pasta is easier than shooting this video.